In this video, we are going to look about phenylketonuria, in short PKU. It is a rare metabolic disease. The exact definition is, it is an autosomal recessive genetic disorder, which means the recessive genes present in both the parents get inherited to one of their children. So, uh, if there is a four children, one will get affected due, this, due to this uh, recessive gene inheritance. So, only we call it as rare metabolic disease. So, what exactly happens in PKU is there will be increase of phenylalanine to toxic level. What is phenylalanine? It is an essential amino acid which cannot be synthesized by our body. So, what happens is there will be defect in the phenyl hydroxylase gene located in the 12th chromosome. So, there will be no production of phenyl hydroxylase enzyme. There are more than 600 types of mutation in this 12th chromosome resulting to PKU. Now, let's look over what exactly happens in the PKU step by step. In normal people, the phenylalanine is converted into tyrosine with the help of phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme. So, this tyrosine acts as a neurotransmitter and helps in the normal brain function. But in PKU patients, the phenylalanine is not converted into tyrosine but it is converted into phenylpyruvate because there, there is no production of phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme so it is uh, converted into phenylpyruvate. The phenylpyruvate is accumulated and occupy the transporters to cross the blood brain barrier. So what happens if the transporters get blocked? There will be no uh, transmission of uh, tyrosine and tryptophan so the tyrosine and tryptophan level will get decrease. This result in the decrease of dopamine, non-epinephrine and serotonin hormones. So, the tyrosine and tryptophan are nothing but amino acids. The decrease in these amino acids results in the decrease in uh, important hormones. So, the normal brain activity get affected. Coming to the symptoms of phenylketonuria, severe intellectual disability, psychiatric disorders, seizures, epilepsy, behavior difficulties, learning disability and if a pregnant woman having this PKU, can inherit this to their offsprings resulting to maternal PKU syndrome. So you can see most of these symptoms are related to uh, brain and neurological problems. Then coming to the diagnosis, measuring the phenylalanine level, screening of blood sample of newborn in which if a pregnant woman is having PKU and it can the phenylalanine level can also be detected in urine. So blood and urine analysis can be taken for PKU. Back to the treatment, low phenylalanine diet is the best treatment or preventive measure we can take. Avoiding uh, meat, fish, egg, dairy products which is rich in phenylalanine is recommended. So we can use drugs such as Kuan drug and pollen zinc drug. Kuan drug acts as a cofactor for PAH enzyme which is nothing but phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme. Increase in activity of PAHN, increase the phenylalanine tolerance used with low phenylalanine diet. So, if you are taking Quan drug, we have to follow the low phenylalanine diet. Coming to the palanzic drug, it metabolizes the extra phenylalanine. Injected under the skin, works well for alert affected by PKU, has some side effects also. So, in this video, we have looked over phenylalanine, its uh, symptoms, its uh, how it is happening and the treatment. Thank you. If you love this video, please like it, comment your opinions on the comment section, please share it with your friends and family, especially students and most importantly, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Follow us on the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and the link of the pages in the description. Please do check it. Bye.